so moving on to number 12 of 7a what we have we are dealing with word problems of percentage again there is a fight between a and b election election was held between two candidates a and b and what i find that one candidate gets 47 percent of the votes 47 percent of votes of votes so the other candidate will get how much vote so na naturally b will get 100 minus 47 100 minus 47 is equal to 40 100 minus 47 is equal to 53 percentage of votes isn't it a and b are fighting the election a gets 47 percent so naturally b is the winning candidate more than 50 percent while a is your losing candidate well now they say that this fellow a one candidate secured 47 percent of votes and lost by he loses by how much so he loses by one two three six six votes very good so he loses by so what is the difference of votes so difference of votes is equal to how much what is the difference of, of votes so difference of votes is equal to 57 53 minus 47 so 53 minus 47 is equal to 6 percent of vote so this 6 percent of vote is rupees 136 1 2 3 6 6 so according to the question what we have 6 percent of total votes isn't it of votes is equal to your 1 2 3 6 6 by the time you have learned how to find out the total number of votes therefore total number of votes total number of votes will be equal to your 1 2 3 6 6 times 100 by 6 which will give you how much when you will find it you will get total votes polled as 206100 this is the total number of votes polled so how much the winning candidate gets so the winning candidate will get 53 percent of the votes so your winning candidate your winning candidate will get 53 percent of this total votes of total votes total votes means 53 percentage of total vote is how much is two zero six one zero zero so when you will cancel this you will find that you will get a value you will get a value how much so you will get a value one zero nine two three three this is the vote secured by the winning candidate they might ask you find the vote secured by, by losing candidate so 47 percent of the of the total votes okay the cost of a scooter depreciates number 13 number 13 says in number 13 they say that the cost of a scooter depreciates depreciates depreciate so depreciates means to get lowered to get lowered every year or to you can say uh, to lose its value is means depreciates so the cost of a scooter depreciates by 15 percent 15 percent every year every year means if in the first year see if some price is there isn't it 50 price is there 15 you can say if the price is rupees 100 then in the next year 15 percent will be less 15 percent 15 percent of 100 will be less again whatever remains again 15 percent of that particular amount will remain you can say will decrease come on so depreciates by 15 percent every year now if the present value they have given you the present value of the scooter 
present value is equal to rupees 8000 present value means after depreciating after depreciating the present value is this if the sorry if the present value is this much so naturally in the first year in the first year how much value will decrease so value decreased will be equal to 15 percent 15 percent of 8000 this much will decrease so this much will decrease so let's multiply so on multiplication 85 times 40 1 2 0 0 this much decreases the value decreases so it remains how much so remains 8000 minus 1200 so this is the amount which is left by the end of the first year now again in the second year in the second year 15 percent decreases 15 percent decreases so when 15 percent decreases how much is left so your left is equal to is equal to 85 percent when 15 percent is left 85 percent remains so from 6800 if 15 percent decreases decreases 85 percent of 6800 will remain which is equal to 85 percent of 6800 so when you cancel it you will get a value uh, 5780 rupees this much value will be left okay now moving on to number 14 in an examination the pass mark is 40 percent in an examination the pass mark is 40 percent okay fine i have understood that the pass mark is 40 percent pass mark is equal to 40 percent well but the candidate here gets 65 marks only the candidate the candidate gets only how much or gets how much 65 marks means he secures obtains 65 marks and they say that but the fellow loses by three marks okay so it's a very bad thing for the child that he loses by three marks so actually how much he should obtain actually the pass mark pass mark was 65 plus 3 that is 68 was the pass mark try to understand 68 now 68 was the pass mark and there and this 68 and this 68 is already given as 40 percent so come on let's start 40 percent 40 percent of my total marks total marks is equal to 68 therefore this particular total marks will be equal to how much this total marks will be equal to your 68 times 100 by 48 okay so when you solve it when you solve it what are you going to get let me see what you will get so you will get uh, how much you will get uh, not 48 40 40 is equal to uh, let's cancel and we'll get 170 as your total marks so out of 170 marks this poor child scored only 65 marks and he failed by three marks okay so a similar type of sum is the next part also therefore in order to make you understand in a much better way why not to go for it 
In an examination, and uh, you can say, uh, child secures 125 marks. So the child, the child secures how much? 125 marks. And they say that he fails by 15 marks. Fails by 15 marks. This poor child. This means, therefore, the total pass mark, the total pass mark was 125 plus 15 is equal to how much? 140. So, this means that if he could have scored 140 marks, he could have passed. If the pass percentage was 35% and they have given you that this is equal to 35 percentage. This means 35 percent of total marks of total marks is equal to 140. So of course you can find out this total marks and your total marks is equal to 140 times 100 by 35 okay so we can cancel this 7 uh, 2 times or similarly 5 4 times so your total marks was 400 which the child which uh, out of which the child scores just 125 marks and he fails by 15 marks okay moving on to the next one in an objective type paper of 150 questions Okay, so naturally when you will be, when you give online examination, you find that the number of question is more. So in an objective type paper of 150 questions, John, so total questions given how much? Number 16, we are solving number 16. So total, total number of questions were 150. And my boy, John. John scores how much? John scores 80% correct answer. Hmm? So 80% correct answer. So how much does he score? So number of, you can say, uh, correct answers, correct answers is equal to how much? 80% of, 80% of 150. This means, he, the boy, scores 120 correct answers. Okay. Similarly, they have given us that John scores 80 and Mohan scores 64% correct answer. What about Mohan? So, Mohan scores 64% correct answers. 64% correct answers. So, how many does Mohan score? So, Mohan attempts how many questions? So, Mohan attempts 64 by 100 times 150. And how much does it he score? He scores 96 questions correctly. Now, in the last part, what are they asking? Find the find. Find percent. What percent is Mohan correct answer to John? Find, find percent correct answer, correct answer of Mohan to John. Not John to Mohan, Mohan to John. So find percentage of correct answer from Mohan to John will be 96. Mohan was 96 and John was how much? 120. Since you are finding it in percentage, you will have to multiply it by 100. Okay. So, come on. Solve it. On solving, how much are you going to get? You will get 4 by 5 times 100, which will be 5 2 times 10 is equal to 80%. Okay. So, here, percentage of Mohan correct answer, Mohan correct answer to John is 80% only. John was 100%. So, Mohan is scoring 96%. He gets, just yes, you can say, he uh, solves 
only 80% of what John has scored. Number 17. Okay, there are two, one or two uh, more questions. Number 17 says that in number 17 is quite easy. A uh, number 800. So the given number, the given number is equal to 8000. This given number is first increased by 20%. So first increased by increased by 20%. And later on, so after increasing by 20%, for example, the number is X. Now, in the second step, they say that this particular X will be decreased. Decreased by 20%. X will be decreased by 20% and then your final answer will be Y. So let us first increase by 20%. Now, when you are increasing 800 to 20%, 8000 to 20%, increasing, increasing to 20% means the final value, the final value will be 120%, 120%? When you are increasing, this is already 100%. You are increasing to 20%. So the final value will be 120%. So 120% of 8000. Well, see. Let me cancel it. Okay. 12 into 12 times 12 times 880 or 120 uh, 800. Let me write 12 into 800. Okay. Do not multiply it. Leave it as it is. Okay. Similarly, we have now in the second step we are decreasing the value to 20 percent we are decreasing the value decreasing the value to 20 percent so decreasing the value not to 20 percent by 20 percent so by 20 percent means the final value that you will get will you will get only 80 percent 80 percent of this particular number, 80% of this particular number. So, 80%, 80% of 1, 2 into 800 will be equal to how much? Will be equal to your how much? 8, 8 times 64, 640 into 12. 640 into 12 will give you 7680 as your final answer. Okay, I hope this was loud, loud and clear. So when you are increasing a number by 20% means your final value will become 120. When you are increasing a value by 30%, your final value will be 70%. Okay, number 18. So number 18 is also of the same type. Okay, but still we will do it so that it gets, you can say, embedded in your brain. The number is this, the number, the number is given how much? So the number, first let us write the original number as 12000. This number 1200 is first decreased by 25%. So let me write decrease, decreased by 25% means the value will be how much? The value will be 75%. 75% of this particular number 12000. Okay. Do not multiply it, please. 75 into 120. Do not multiply it. Leave it as it is. So this is the decreased value. And then again we are increasing by 25%. So again, again, increasing, increasing by 25% means the value will be, the value will be 125%. Or in the final value will be when you are increasing something by 25%. Percent Person is already 100. So when you are increasing the value by 25%. So the value will be 125% of 75 into 120. So please cancel it. So after cancellation, what are you going to get? You will be getting a value 11250. 11,200. I hope this was quite clear. Okay. 
Now, number 19 is also of the same type. So, we are not going to do. And number 19 as well as number 20. Number 20, same type. Same type. Okay. Now, it's your responsibility to go through it again and again. Subscribe it so that you stay tuned till you complete your class 10.